Good morning, folks. Let's begin with Isaac. There's not much new to report. He's still coming. Just be aware and prepared if you live near the Gulf. Multiple landfalls are expected. We're watching the Caribbean this morning for the four-pointer that hit Virgin Islands. That's above average, and there's minor swarming. Pelican Lake in Manitoba has some confirmed blue-green algae. That's cyanobacteria. The wildfires in Spain are near record-setting, going along with that heat wave in Europe. And as always, please check Torcon. It's not tornado season, but the storms, rain, and lightning that pop up out of nowhere have proved deadly this year. We have these same two cyclones near Asia. Very slow movers, and that's a lot of time to build strength. The one on the right has done just that. At a level 5 typhoon, it will be one of the single most powerful weather events in years. 280 kilometer wind gusts. Not for rookies, folks. Love him or hate him, it's tough to write off Big Bites from DC Symbols channel when he puts out a video suggesting that the heliocentric conjunction of Earth and Neptune could have a depressive effect on quakes during the watch period. And I probably don't need to tell you that we have had no major quakes since the four six-pointers and the 7.7 .7 during the last watch. Some planetary lineups might have the opposite effect, as he points out. Perhaps his logic can extend to flares as well. We were dead silent during the watch. We are beginning to pop sea flares now, though. For those curious what the next alignment of interest is, see Saturn on that line up top. If I zoom in, August 30th sees him heliocentrically oppose Venus. The dark coronal hole facing us looks nothing like she once did, but she is still affecting Earth currently with a strong stream of solar wind. You can see the orange density rising before the speed, the yellow, spikes up. This is a bunching of the slower moving solar wind that's ahead of that faster coronal hole stream behind. We are taking moderate geomagnetic stress right now and a bit of induced resonance. Looking at our Earth facing sunspots, bit of good news here, Earth is magnetically connected away from all of them. But starting in the middle, we can see both polarities evenly divided there. That's beta class. Down south we have another beta class spot but it's morphing together a bit not separated like the first one. The primary active region on the Sun however just stole that title when it turned the limb. If Noah gets a good look tonight she should be beta gamma at least. She spent the last 24 hours warming up for her earth facing show, cleared her throat once expelling a good sized CME that won't hit earth because of how she was facing. You see that dark coronal hole, and you can see just to the bottom right of it, around 4 or 5 o'clock, we had another tiny filament eruption. I mention these filament eruptions because sometimes we get a leviathan. Look at this thing wrapped around half the freaking sun turning in to face us. Starting way up on the top left, comes all the way across the solar equator into the south. Let's have her chill out for about a week. Seriously folks, sunrise is astounding. You got Mercury, Venus, Jupiter all in a line. The Pleiades is above Jupiter, Orion taking a nap on his back there. The morning definitely has the better view right now, but it's not always easy to get up that early, so just in case you're more of an evening person, Mars and Saturn put on a little show for you then. Eyes open, folks. That's the news. Be safe.